Bile plays a crucial role in breaking down fats, absorbing fat-soluble vitamins, and eliminating waste. Sometimes, though, our bodies don't produce enough of it, and that's where bile supplements come into play. So let's use this video to talk about the different types of bile supplements that you will find out there. We will look at ox bile, bile acids, bile salts, and tutka supplements. Each has its own unique role, benefits, and drawbacks that I want to explain. Let's start with ox bile supplements. As the name suggests, these are made from the bile of oxen or cows. They mimic the bile your own body would produce, so they are the most direct form of supplemental bile. They're especially common among people who have had their gallbladder removed because their body no longer has the reservoir needed to store and release bile. They also support fat digestion and the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, because again, bile is needed for these functions. Ox bile supplements can help alleviate things like greasy or whitish stools, or even indigestion, which are common symptoms in people with insufficient bile production. But there are also drawbacks. Ox bile is not vegan-friendly, obviously, since it's derived from an animal. And it might not address the root cause of poor bile production, because you're giving the body the final product and not the individual building blocks. It can also cause loose stools or diarrhea if you take too much. All in all, ox bile is a good choice for people whose gallbladder has been removed or anyone who has chronic issues with fat digestion. It's also helpful for certain liver conditions or during times of increased fat intake like following a very high fat diet. Next, we have bile acid supplements. Whereas ox bile is the ready to use version of bile and has everything natural bile also has, including bile acids, bile salts, cholesterol, waste products, and other components, bile acids are just one piece of the puzzle. They're the active component in bile responsible for breaking down fats. Bile acid supplements are more focused and purified, meaning they only contain the specific bile acids needed for particular health benefits, like improving liver function and dissolving gallstones. The most well-known are ursodeoxycholic acid, utka, and toroursodeoxycholic acid, tutka, which I will talk about in more detail later in the video. The benefit of bile acid supplements is that they're more targeted in what they do. For example, certain bile acids like tutka help protect your liver. They improve bile flow, reduce inflammation, and prevent bile from becoming too thick and damaging your liver. This is especially helpful for conditions like fatty liver disease or liver stress. They also help dissolve gallstones because they reduce the amount of cholesterol and bile, which helps break down the stones over time. On top of that, if your bile isn't flowing well, it can back up and cause problems like itching or liver damage. Basically, bile acid supplements thin the bile and make it easier to move through the bile ducts. Their cons are that they aren't usually used as a general digestive aid because, like I said before, their application is more targeted. And they can also have side effects like nausea or dizziness in some people. Third, we have bile salts. You see, to actually function correctly, bile acids need to be activated. Because by themselves, bile acids aren't fully ready to mix with the watery environment of your digestive system. So in the liver, bile acids are combined with certain molecules, like sodium or potassium, to make them more water-soluble. This transformation turns them into bile salts, which are then more effective at mixing with fats and water. Now, I should say one thing. In a supplemental context, the terms bile acid and bile salt are often used interchangeably, so companies will often write one and mean the other. That's because bile acids are so close to bile salts and really the only thing missing is the attachment of electrolytes. In that sense, their properties are also very similar and I won't list the pros and cons again. Lastly, we have Tutka, and I already named it before when we talked about bile acids. Tutka is a specific bile acid derivative that's gained popularity as a supplement for liver and overall health. It's essentially a water-soluble bile acid bound to taurine. While it's technically a bile acid supplement, Tutka stands out because it has benefits 
beyond just digestion. For example, it helps protect and repair cells in the liver, improve bile flow, reduce inflammation, and it even supports mitochondrial health. There also seem to be neuroprotective benefits, and it is sometimes used for conditions like ALS or Parkinson's. That means tutka is more of an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent than just a digestive support. That said, keep in mind that the amino acid taurine also shares a lot of these benefits, and it is a neurotransmitter in and of itself. So some of the benefits of tutka could really just be due to your body having more taurine available. The cons of Tutka are that it is more expensive than other bile supplements and the effects on your digestion might not be as pronounced as from ox bile or bile salt supplements, for example, because you're just getting one small piece of the overall puzzle. Okay, so now that you know the difference between all of them, what's my suggestion? Which should you buy if you want to take a bile supplement? For people who are looking for just the digestive support, I would go with either ox bile or bile salt slash bile acid supplements. I personally tolerate bile acid supplements the best, but this also comes down to your own tolerance. Especially when buying ox bile, you want to make sure you're getting a high quality product from a reputable brand. Because remember, this is an animal product and low quality bile from a sick animal can be somewhat contaminated. On the other hand, if you're dealing with liver stress, fatty liver disease, bile duct issues, or want the neuroprotective effect, then Tutka is probably the best option for you to try out. There's currently a lot of research being published on it, and it is definitely a very promising molecule. 